Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Joni with This Busy Mama and I forgot to film an intro for this video. So we're at my local Goodwill today and the purple tags are 50% off today. So let's get started and see what we can find. This is the exact same thing that I saw at the antique store and it is 888. It's rusted at the bottom though. Well, the music is really, really loud in the store today, so I am going to have to do a voiceover through most of this video, probably. But we did pick up the coal scuttle, as you saw there, and you heard me say that it was the exact same one that was at the antique store the other day. It was pretty close, but they wanted a whole lot more for theirs than this one was, so... I did notice they had a bunch of neat vintage lamps up there on the top shelf that you probably saw there. Some of the little angels on them or cherubs. This I am picking up for myself. I was needing another wax burner melter. Um, so I picked that up for me. But here, here are some of these vintage lamps. They're pretty cool. I'm just kind of scanning these shelves to see if there's anything good in here that we could flip for a profit. And also if there's anything that Danny could flip. He's looking for more electronic things, geeky type things as he calls it. But I didn't find anything for him. So we're moving on. This was a really pretty McCoy pitcher, but it does have a giant crack in the top of it. It was priced very well at $3.33, and they marked it as is. But I passed on that because you can't just turn that one around and make the other side the display side because the other side is blank. So I left it behind. This was pretty cool. It was very heavy though, very heavy. This was like a chalkware, but it was super, super heavy. And of course, you know, I have to pick up these vanity trays. They sell pretty good for me in my Etsy store. So that went in the cart. There's a cute little strawberry pie, pie dish right there. I debated on whether I should get that or not, but I decided to pass on it. I'm just not sure how well those actually sell. This little jar was heavy. It was like either alabaster or marble. There's some things on these shelves that I have seen the last few times that I have been in here. I thought that was going to be like a neat piece of art glass, but it was actually very cheap feeling. That looked like a pretty cool art glass vase, but it was a Teleflora piece, so I passed on that. And then I found another vase that was unmarked, and I have a, a vase that's very similar in the green color there to that one, but it has not sold, so I wasn't going to pick another green one up. This little dog I thought about, but I do have 
some dogs listed in my shop that have not sold either, so I passed on that. I love the turquoise color inside of this vase, but it was huge and I didn't want to have to ship that. These little pottery pieces, I guess you would call them pottery pieces, the cream and sugar with the yellow stripes. There's a whole set of different mixed and match things here. And these are from the Reagan house in Bolivar, Ohio. They're just like a wholesale store where you can get farmhouse decorations. They have big events, certain times of the year where you can go there and shop. They have a huge sale and it's a big deal and you stand in line for hours waiting to get in. Danny and I actually went there last year when they had their Christmas sale. I thought this was a glass bunny, but it was plastic. It tricked me. These little pigs were really cute, but not for $4.88. I, I can't make any profit off of them at that price, so I left them behind. Here is a nice Pyrex bowl. And I almost picked this up until I noticed the inside of it. There were quite a bit of stains in there and I'm not sure if I can actually get those stains off. So I decided to leave that behind. I was trying to pan over to these dishes very slowly, so I didn't make you all motion sick. <laughs> and I found this Soroka Wood Last Supper plaque, and I thought it was neat. I've never seen one. I'm sure it's everywhere, but <laughs> I've never seen it, and I thought, oh, let's give it a try. This little teapot was cute, but it did have a big chip on it, so I left that behind. Here's a nice trifle dish up here and you see me checking it out and I am asking myself, do I really need a trifle dish? Because I see people make things in these all the time and I'm always inspired by that. But in reality, will I ever really use that enough to consider the storage of that thing? <laughs> so I passed on the trifle dish. I was really hoping to find something in this aisle that I could do a makeover on and uh, do a video to show you me making over this item and flipping it for a profit, but <laughs> either my creativity was just out the door this day or 
there really wasn't anything for me to make over. But I didn't end up picking anything up for a thrift flip, so... Maybe one of these days we'll get something that we can do a makeover on. I really liked this box right here, and I thought maybe that could be a makeover thing. It was a modern piece, and I really liked the way that it looked, but I don't know. I just, I passed on that at $4 and whatever it was. But I did find these pants hangers, and they were two eleven dollars for all three of them. So that was cool. There are all kinds of things that you can do with those. This picture was from Italy, but it didn't seem like something that was going to be of high interest. So I put that back. These were neat. They were definitely a great find for the 4th of July, but by the time I would get these processed and put up, it would be too late to ship out by the 4th of July. So I left those behind and one of them had some damage on it anyway, so that's okay. I thought about picking this up until I saw the price tag and I didn't think it was going to be worth much more than maybe $10. So at $4.66, it wasn't something that I needed to pick up. That turkey has been on the shelf for quite a while. I didn't notice if it had a purple tag on it or not, but if it's still there the next time I go back in, I think I will pick that up for Thanksgiving. I had one last year and it sold pretty well. These were neat too. They were copper with a painted flower on each one, but I wasn't too sure about that either, so I left it behind. This little wagon up here on the corner was really cute and I thought it would be cute for the 4th of July but they had it priced pretty high I thought so that got left behind too There's not too much going on in the Christmas section today. I did find these sugared fruits, but some of they looked like they were supposed to go on a set of lights. I always like to check out the frame section to see if I can find any vintage brass frames. They sell so fast on my Etsy that I just, I can't even keep them in the store. <laughs> so it's like I list them and they're gone. And I saw this little copper tea kettle, but it was missing its lid. 
so I left it behind and I kind of regret leaving it behind because it still could have been used as like a little planter or something or just a little decoration on a shelf even but I did leave it behind there is a bellow for $8.88 There are these fans, but I don't I don't think those are a big seller. I wasn't sure what this thing is. It reminded me of like a branding tool for branding cows. I'm not sure what it was. Here is an old popcorn popper. Put that in the fire. Six eighty eight on that one. Not really too much in this section today. There was a nice mug rack down there, but I think we'll get to that in a second. But I think they wanted a good bit for that. This big red pot caught my attention, but of course the enamel on the bottom is just ruined. When I did my canning and stuff, I, I loved these big kind of pots for making big batches of stuff. They're really nice. Okay, guys, so we have a little bit of a change of scenery. We're outside today. It's a beautiful day. And so I want to show you what we picked up at Goodwill today. And the first thing is this coal scuttle, and this is an antique coal scuttle. It's got this eagle emblem on the top, and there's some stars there. And on the front, it has some stars and this little decoration. It's got these cool handles, and it has claw feet. Now, it does have a condition issue. It is rusted through on the bottom, but I think you could just put a piece of tin down in the bottom and it'll be okay for decoration purposes. That's what they're used for today anyway, is decoration. Most people don't really burn coal too much these days, so. But I thought it was really cool. It was $8.88. And I'm gonna try to sell it locally on Facebook Marketplace for around $85 and see how it does. The next thing we have is this Sirocco Last Supper plaque. And this is Sirocco wood. There's actually a little leftover of the sticker on the back. Made in the USA. It's a little fuzzy on the back. I paid $233 for this, and I'm going to list it for $20. Next, I found another one of these beautiful mirrored vanity trays. And this one is about 13 and a half inches long and 8 and a half inches wide. So, and it is felted and footed on the bottom. And I paid... 566 for this and it is listed at the 30. I also picked up these vintage pants hangers. There's three different styles here. These you just fold the fold the hanger down and then it opens up. So you could use these to hang towels in your kitchen could hang your towels on the wall like that and um, aprons uh, anything you can hang all kinds of stuff with them but they're really cool and I got all three of them for $2.11 and they will be listed for $5 each I picked up this cute little frog it's glass and it's very textured as you can see there and there is some chipping around the top, which makes me think that there should have been a lid for this. But I'm not sure. If any of you know if this is like a little trinket dish or what this is, 
let me know down in the comments. I would really love to know. This was really cute. And I think I'm going to sell this in a whatnot auction. And I paid $1.11 for this, so I'm just going to start it at $2 and go from there. Because I really don't know what exactly its purpose was. I'm calling it a ring dish or trinket dish. So, you also saw me pick up these woven trivets. These are vintage, and they were sold in a set like this. Like, the two that don't match were put together as a set for $1.11. So I'm going to take these apart and match them up correctly. And they will be still sold in a set of two, but matching sets. So I paid $2.22 for these, and they will be $15 per set. So the last thing that I found was this gorgeous little PY anthropomorphic apple creamer. And it's in very good condition. There are no chips or cracks. There are some imperfections in the glaze. There's like a little dent back here. But that's an imperfection. It is not any, um, it's not damaged at all. So this handle looks like it's chipped, but it is not. It is just the way that the paint or glaze, it's the way that the glaze is on there. But anyways, I paid $1.33 for this and it is listed for $25. So this was a pretty good find. I didn't know that it was PY when I picked it up, but when I started looking up comps, I was like, oh wow, that's awesome. All right, so our total spend there was $23.64, and our potential sales are $209, leaving us with a potential profit of about $185. Sorry, there was a butterfly. I thought it was a wasp. It was just a butterfly. So $185. $23 turned into $185. That's awesome. And it was a very short trip, so didn't take me long to find all this. So. Well, I just want to say thank you guys so much for coming along with me today and sticking around to see what I picked up. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much. Bye.